Hey YouTube, so it's Lewis here, um, or Luis, however you guys want to pronounce it. Um, here's my second video that I'm going to be uh, picking off from where I left off. Um, in case you guys are wondering, I am working with my pops. Uh, we're doing a little bit of some handyman stuff, you know, on the roof. Uh, just for the moment, because um, these apartments my grandpa owns, and uh, a lot of their, you know, people living here are complaining about water leaks, so we're just doing a temporary fix-up. Uh, so yeah, um, to get back into like my story, uh, career-wise, I think that's where I was going to uh, take the second video. Um, yeah, so, you know, I spent, I, I started, you know, I graduated high school at the at the year of 2014, summer 2014. Uh, pretty cool, pretty good year, I will say. Um, from there, you know, imme immediately, um, that same summer, I went to Citrus College. And, uh, because I was going to run for a cross-country program over there. And, um... It was cool the summer semester and then um fall semester uh it's cross country season and um it was cool competing i wasn't the best you know but i did try my best and um me and the coach at the end of the day had a fallout and i ended up uh wanting to still do cross country but i did not want to do cross country with that program anymore so i made the switch from citrus college to a uh, San Antonio College. Um, so these are all community colleges. Uh, I was going to go straight into a four-year, but um, it was just too expensive, and this is, they weren't particularly the schools that at least I was accepted to. They, they weren't actually schools that I wanted to go. And um, and you know, during this time, you know, it's uh, it was a given that I was setting myself to be a civil engineer because that was that was what my grandpa is and that's what my grandpa and my parents expected me to become um and from a young age you know this was pretty much uh, a done deal uh which kind of sucked because i never really had the opportunity to really explore different options or really get to know myself so that was that was that um but other than that, you know, I, I, I went on and uh, went to uh, Mount Sac for short, uh, joined the cross country and the track program. And they were honestly probably one of the best years of my life. Uh, you know, all the great people I met through that uh, athletic program, it was very life changing, I would say. And um, but yeah, towards that, that I, I transferred to Mount Sac literally the winter of 2015. and. I stayed there till uh, the fall of 2017. Uh, fall of 2017 semester was my last uh, semester there at Mount Sac. Because uh, after that, I made the switch to uh, uh, Mount uh, Cal Poly Pomona. And um, that's really, you know, school that's right down the street from Mount Sac. So it was an easy uh, get in, you know, acceptance. And, um, I got in basically for civil engineering and you know bef right before that I would say um, I didn't want to be an engineer but and I was literally close to dropping out but um, because ever since I moved made the switch from uh, Mount Sac um, I started to get into music like uh, e uh, EDM music and um, I really, I really loved music. Like I loved DJing and I got into producing and that, like I said, um, I will also have to probably put that in another video because this is just too much information for just one. But um, yeah, just a brief, you know, I, I really loved it. Like it, I, I feel it to my core. It's, uh, I get the chills, you know, every time I, listen especially to good music when i dj when i produce music i just feel it feels so nice and um i'll just touch that i'll just give you guys that for now um but anyway that was really why i wanted to drop out because you know i wanted to become a professional dj artist and i still do it's just 
um, now's not the time. And I feel like that's what the maturity brought, you know, over the years with me is uh, uh, everything happens at its time and you just have to be patient. So I did that. And um, yeah, so I just told myself, you know, I'm already halfway through this like educational career, you know, and uh, I made the switch to Cal Poly Pomona. Um, throughout my time at Cal Poly Pomona, because uh, I went in uh, in the, the winter semester of, or quarter at the time of 2018. And um, from there, you know, I did all my courses, uh, uh, try to pass everything with good grades, but, um, you know, and throughout my time there, I just wasn't motivated for that career. And um, yeah, so I graduated at Cal Poly Pomona um, the summer of 2021. That was uh, a COVID year, so I didn't get my traditional ceremony like most. Um, and uh, yeah, it kind of sucked, but at the same time, I was kind of, you know, uh, relieved that I got to graduate. Um, so that was that. And um, I think the the summer of 2020, yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, I got an internship at this uh, engineering geotechnical firm that has to do with working with soils. Um, so I got I got that job I got that internship uh, the summer of 2020, so literally a year before I graduate, and um, you know work with them uh, basically every like Friday, um, and even Saturday at times, and then uh, they actually uh, got me on to be a full time uh, employee there, and I started doing being like a soils uh, technician and it was a cool experience. I mean, I already knew how to do it. And the only reason I know how to like that whole field of work was because my grandpa actually um, works in that. So it was very, uh, you know, easy transition, you can say. And um, it was good, it was good. Uh, good experience in the beginning, it was nice. You know, you're by yourself. You don't have your boss looking over you. But I mean, like I think halfway, cause I was there for like one more year um uh from the point that i graduated and um it was cool um just half my halfway point i started to realize you know like this isn't paying well um because i was getting paid uh 23 bucks an hour and i had a bachelor's and everything so i i don't know to me that was pretty low and um yeah i graduated uh got that job halfway point I realized you know this just wasn't it it's paying too low um at that time I only had one kid and um yeah I was just really going through it mentally too um I said this this couldn't be it like there was a point where I was like you know there's these things that I want to do but I just feel like this job takes too much time because I would always leave like around 5.30 in the morning and wouldn't come back from like, un from literally 5.30, seven the latest. Um, so I said this job wasn't it. And uh, I ended up quitting uh, on, Jul uh, I believe it was like July 2nd of 2022, I would say, yeah, 2022 and um quickly got another job uh that my ex professor um hooked me up with uh but this time it was within the c uh civil engineering field um but just a different another branch uh which is uh surveying and um i knew what it it was what it consisted of because i was uh i took classes on that but um as a job and what I really had to do as a whole is just completely, you know, it was completely new nonetheless. And uh, yeah, so I got on board on July 5th of 2022 and up till last uh, last week, last Wednesday, uh, at the recording of the time of the recording of this video, you know, I uh, stopped working there. Um, and this job, uh, you know, when I first went in, I didn't know anything, but I had some like huge confidence that, you know what, 
I might not know anything, but that's totally okay. Like, I just know that my work ethic is, and my skills are that, you know what, I will work hard and I will, uh, I, w I pick up things fast. Like, that's just me. And so they gave me the job on the spot. And I think that confidence and a little bit of word from my professor, you know, hooked me up. So put in a good word for me. So I think that helped a lot. And, um, and the fact that I came from Cal Poly Pomona, <laughs> it does, it, it has a good name to, uh, you know, helping you out. But um, yeah, so throughout that time, um, I, my first, I was there for a little, a year over, and a, a year and a half. And um, for half of that time, I was working in the office and I just didn't like the office life. Um, it's not that I don't like the office life. I just didn't like the work. Um, the pressure that it brought upon me. I was getting pretty chubby and um, I was getting stressed a lot. Uh, my bosses were honestly douchebags. And um, yeah, I just didn't like that that, 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 that type of uh, environment. And uh, the work, um, I, I liked it at first, but it, it, it just wasn't like what I was expecting it to be, you know? I don't know and so um i asked my boss you know if i can uh, make a switch back from the office to the field and uh he we, i made i ended up making the switch um at my halfway point and um it was cool at first uh because i was working under a party chief and um yeah so I ended up working under him and he was really strict and it was basically like back at ground zero again where I'm like damn like I left pressure just to be under more pressure so uh, I sucked it up for literally a long time I guess the rest of my time and um, I just me and him like like we got along at least I thought we got along and I points you know he if he had a problem with me he'd like say it you know and i'd recognize the problem and i'd fix it you know i'd do something about it and um i guess uh i will say this in another video it was there was just drama in the end uh which is why i'm not working there anymore but uh i will save that for the next video um but yeah Throughout that time from my halfway point of being there um, up to last week, I, I had already thought about quitting anyways because it's just, I just don't like really engineering as a whole. I don't think even there's much space to grow unless you're going to be there for years and the amount of work and it's just not, I mean, it's just not for me personally, not for me. So that was just a... Uh, you know, a bit of my career life, um, or I guess all of my career life up to this point. Um, I mean, this, you know, I've worked other jobs, like I've worked with my grandpa, my dad, Chipotle, uh, Kohl's, you know, but those, um, not as big as, as these types of jobs. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still, it's still a learning process. Um, and I feel like I've learned a lot and I feel like maybe some of what I learned and could help anyone out there who's, uh, you know, a little bit lost or needs a little bit of advice. So, yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's a big process, uh, it's a big jump now that at the, at the stage that I'm at right now. But like I said, I'll go into depth of why I'm not at that job anymore. And uh, if you guys so far feel interested, if whoever you know watches this likes and got to this point of the video uh thank you and uh hopefully i can get your support uh, and if you if you like this again uh feel free to subscribe um so with that being said uh i'll see you in the next video guys peace